Um, so I have a close family friend. Um, his name is Ray. Um, he's worked at a construction company for about 15 to 20 years. Um, he was a good employee. He was always on time, did his work efficiently and proficiently, um, and was always able to work if, you know, anyone didn't show up. And so soon enough, um, the, his company started laying people off, and he was one of the people to go. Um, he was the main breadwinner for his family, so they eventually, um, he couldn't find a job anywhere else. So eventually he stopped making um, his mortgage payments and he lost his home. Um, his car was repossessed because he couldn't make uh, you know, payments towards his car and just things kind of went downhill. Um, he's been out of a job for a little over a year. Um, him and his wife and his three children are currently living, um, actually sharing a room. Uh, all, all five of them are sharing a room in someone's home. And so they just have uh, nowhere to go. Um, and this is a situation for like many, many Americans, um, my family included. Um, and it's just, uh, it can happen to anyone, and I'm sure like at least one of us in here, or all of us in here know at least someone who's in that same situation. Um, so in this speech, I will argue that Congress needs to pass Obama's jobs bill. Um, first, I will discuss the job opportunities that this jobs bill can bring. Secondly, I will discuss um, the uh, benefits towards uh, our economic crisis. And um, thirdly, I will discuss the uh, benefits it can bring to our communities. Um, this jobs bill can uh, create many jobs um, for all those who are currently long time unemployed, for teachers who have been laid off, for construction workers like Ray who have been laid off, and um, for uh, veterans who come home from, you know, serving our country, they come home and they can't even find a job. Um, and um, this uh, jobs bill um, will help, just like the 2009 stimulus bill, it'll help our 9.1% uh, of un our unemployment rate from rising. So, I mean, it's going to take a long time to fix, but if we can keep it from escalating, that's, you know, that's progress. And so, um, this struggle will also uh, offer incentives for small businesses and just regular businesses to employ uh, new workers. Um, they'll get tax cuts <coughs> for um, hiring new employees, um, four thousand dollar tax cuts for uh, hiring someone who's been out of a job for more than six months, and they will uh, offer extra tax cuts for uh, people who offer uh, or who hire um, veterans. And um, it's it's basically, uh, the plan is just to get people back on track, to get back to work and put money in their pockets. Um, the, this jobs bill actually will help our economic situation right now. Um, if people, people get jobs and they have money in their pockets, they are able to spend, um, it might keep from more foreclosed homes. Um, People will actually get, um, a typical working family will get a $15,000 uh, tax cut. So that's $15 less from a uh, tax cut from their uh, paycheck and $15,000 more in their pockets. So, I mean, you can do a lot with $15,000, um, especially if you're short on money. Um, and it'll uh, offer the payroll tax, a uh, cut for payroll taxes and a cut for um, business businesses. Uh, payroll taxes. Um, and uh, third, uh, oh, uh, the jobs bill will also offer um, or will benefit our communities because um, we're in desperate need of remodeling uh, bridges, highways, schools. And you know, et cetera. And this also creates jobs because we need people to, you know, to work um, to help rebuild uh, our communities and stuff. And um, this this also helps you know put people back on track and money in their with money in their pockets. And um, um, We also, um, 
this job will actually also um, be able to have, a, you know, teenagers have a summer job and, and just, you know, have something to do and actually help their parents and, and uh, economical situation. So, um, in this speech, I argued that Congress should pass uh, Obama's jobs bill. Um, first, I discussed the job opportunities that it can bring. Um, secondly, I discussed the uh, benefits to our economy, and third, I discuss the benefits uh, that it can bring to our communities. So um, I believe that Congress should pass this jobs bill because um, it can save a lot of families like Ray's and, you know, everyone out there who is in crisis and just really needs to get back on track and just be able to survive.